5 through 10. For his anger is not for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O oh Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O oh Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust graze you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O oh Lord, and be gracious to me. O oh Lord, be my helper.
dance them with energy of a life lived in community. Amen. You may be seated. Who 
born in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. This is the word of the Lord. We do praise the Lord for the School of Psychology. Uh, we praise God for his faithfulness and all the blessings that we've received. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord has anointed our alumni to bring forth healing, restoration, transformation, and hope through therapy, through teaching, research, writing, and service throughout our world. I'd like to share just one personal story from one of our alum, the marriage and family doctoral student Bill Clausen, was coming to the occasion and he wrote this email to me and I thought, I need to share that. Uh, with everyone. So this is what he writes. He's now practicing in Toronto, Canada. I want to share the profound impact Fuller has had on me and my family's life. It is truly a remarkable story for a full circle of connection and healing. My parents came back to Southern California after 10 years of missionary service in Korea, establishing and running an orphanage. They and we four children were in a crisis state. My mom was seriously depressed. My parents' marriage was in severe distress. We four children were experiencing the difficult task of trying to adjust to culture in LA after virtually living all our lives on a 10-acre farm and orphanage facilities in war-torn Korea. The emotional upheaval of our family was massive. Our family's needs to get help were tremendous. Dr. Bauer, the founder, along with Dennis Guernsey, of the Marriage and Family Therapy Program at Fuller, provided individual and marital therapy for my mom and dad. And they took us kids in for family therapy. My family began steps of recovery and healing that led us to finding our way forward. My father later, post-missionary career, ended up as a marriage and family therapist. As for me, some 18 years later, I chose to pursue my dream of becoming a therapist, and you guessed it, I came back to Fuller. That was the place where my family had gotten all its help. By the way, Phil also now has a college daughter and college in psychology. <laughs> I wonder when she'll come back to another generation. Phil says, I wanted to share this beautiful story of hope that is so central to the vision and purpose that the School of Psychology embodies. I'm so thankful for the blessing received here and the difference it has made in the lives of so many people over these 50 years. I count it a privilege to be part of this great group of alumni who are being used to serve God in the mental health area. Thank you, Phil, and to all our alumni who've turned mourning into dancing and brought joy, hope, restoration for individuals, couples, families, communities, missionaries, pastors, academic settings, churches, and organizations all over the world. We exalt our God for faithfulness, for anointing, and blessing.